Here is our new HE351 turbine housing and turbine wheel upgrade. The turbine wheel that we use for this is the same as the HX40 67 by 76 turbine wheel that we sell. And the turbine housing we had uh, custom made. It's recast as an HE351 CW and then we had it machined out for a the 67 by 76 turbine wheel. We recommend using this turbine wheel and turbine housing upgrade even if you just have a regular HE351. The reason why is because the HE351 already has an HX40 compressor wheel which is 60 by 86 millimeter. Now the HE341 had two different versions. One had a 56 millimeter by 78 millimeter wheel and the other one was a 54 by 78 millimeter wheel which is the same as the HX35. However, I prefer just to use the HX40 compressor wheel at minimum which is the 60 by 86 which is the same in the HE351 CW. The great thing about this turbine housing and wheel upgrade is that it lowers the EGTs and helps pick up your power. The thing that really lacks on the HE351 CW is the turbine housing being too small. We are able to make up for the small turbine housing size by going with this larger turbine wheel. So this will help lower the EGTs and as some diesel people say lowers the drive pressure. This turbine wheel upgrade is a necessary component for the compressor wheel upgrade. If you go to do the compressor wheel upgrade without the turbine wheel upgrade, you're going to see a lot of problems with too much back pressure in the turbine housing causing really high EGTs. So make sure that you don't cheap out on an upgrade like that and just go with the larger turbine wheel whether you have to buy the turbine housing and wheel from us or have somebody or us machine your turbine housing and sell you the wheel to match. The turbo on the right is our 67 millimeter upgrade which we've had on the dyno making over 700 horsepower on the Dodges. The turbo on the left is our 63 by 99 compressor upgrade. This compressor wheel is the same as the HX50 but made in a six blade and designed to fit on an HX40 shaft. The great thing about this turbine housing and wheel upgrade is that you don't have to machine your turbine housing any longer because you can just replace it. The problem with machining the original turbine housing is that it's really hard to line up on the machine but once you have it lined up, it's really not that hard to machine it. But you do have to take a porting tool on the inside of the turbine housing to cut down the edges because the housing was not made for that tall of a tip height of a turbine wheel. If you do decide to just buy our turbine wheel, be sure to machine your turbine housing out to 0.7 millimeter larger than your turbine wheel. Also, the distance between the radius of the turbine wheel to the turbine wheel itself when mounted is 20 thousandths. You can measure this distance using a dial indicator and the original heat shield, knowing that there's 50 thousandths between the heat shield and the turbine wheel. You have to pull the dial indicator from the turbine housing to the indicator and you'll come out with 70 thousandths. If you're trying to make more horsepower, increase spool, and lower your EGTs, then this is the product for you. I'll link to all the products mentioned below in the description box, so you can check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos and products just like this one.